What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial we're gonna talk about a different kind of editor because I always like to look up new editors and introduce new programs to you guys that you can use to edit your videos. So in today's video we're gonna talk about the Filmora video editor. So if you're excited for this tutorial make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and first of all before I'm gonna roll the intro I want to thank you guys for 250 50,000 subscribers. This is literally a dream coming true. I never thought six years ago that I would ever hit a quarter of a million subscribers. So I'm super, super thankful for that. So with that being said, let's get started with the video right after the intro. Right guys, so as you can see right now, this is Filmora Pro. When you boot it up, this is what you see after you picked it up in the link in the description, obviously. So right here, you can just click on create a new project to start from scratch or open up the project that you've been working on earlier. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to create a new project. This is basically what the interface looks like. So before we're gonna start doing anything, before we're gonna start editing a video, everything like that, we're gonna run through what we, what we see. So right here on the right, we have our, as you can see, preview screen and you can just also make that bigger by just dragging it to the left as you can see very very nice you can just make that a little bit bigger if it's too small for you then below that obviously just like any other software we have the timeline where you can have your video track your audio track the master volume everything like that that's pretty obvious on the left right here we have the controls tab the scopes the text and the layout so below that we also have the media tab that's where you're going to see your files and how to import your videos into to the project that you want to edit obviously right here we have the effects tab as you can see with 360 video we have animation audio blurs channel color correction color grading uh, distort uh, generate gradients and fills grunge keying everything like that it is all in there and then also next to that we have the audio mixer and there's where you will see the sound bars going up when you're playing your video and last but definitely not least we have the trimmer next to the video preview that means that you can just obviously that is to trim videos down down to a certain size and then drag it into your project we're gonna figure that out in just a minute so what we're gonna do first of all is first customize it a little bit to our wants and needs before we're gonna start editing so first I would like to go ahead and just make the preview like that I have a pretty big monitor so I just want to keep my timeline size just like that as you can see so now we're gonna go ahead and import a video so right here we have the media tab so right here it says import so we're gonna click on there and then we're just gonna open up this box as you can see very very clear and we're gonna just drag in a video all right so I just dragged in the video how to get 100 subscribers every day on YouTube so this is basically what you will see in the trimmer and this is where you can just go ahead and for example crop it and you know decide like I want to have starting from here to here and then you can just for example click on this one set first point and then right here click on it set the end point and that's how you can actually uh, choose which part of that video you want in your timeline so it has a very very basic and also a very cool feature okay so let's go ahead and drag this one from the media tab into our timeline as you can see like that then right here it says the editor sequence settings differ to this clip you are adding we want to change the editor sequence settings to match this clip you want to click yes so then it's going to match the settings that you recorded this video so let's say that you have a project open that's 720p 25 frames per second and you drag in a video that is for example 1080p 60 fps if you drag that into the timeline this filmora is automatically going to change the settings to that so that's really 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 awesome okay so right here as you can see this is what it looks like if you want to zoom in into the timeline be a little bit more precise you can hold the control and you can zoom in all the way as you can see you can see that marker at the bottom that is just how much you're zooming so right here we have the at the top we have the video track and obviously below that the audio track with all the audio waves so if I play this back as you can see this is what it's going to look like the preview is going to play and on the right you have the audio markers what is going on guys my name is Alex welcome back to a brand new subscribers the legitimate way so we're not gonna buy subscribers or doing any sub for sub stuff anything like that so that's a really really cool feature and that's basically how to get started with this timeline and with your video and the preview so in order to go ahead and split things and cut things up in Vegas Pro you want to just go ahead and click on your timeline for example and press s but that that's not the case with Filmora, which is control B 
So if I'm going to go ahead and click on the timeline right here, and let's say I want to split this up, you just want to just press Control B, and you can also, for example, click right here, Control B, and that is how you split it up. And for example, you can delete that from your timeline. You can press, you can put these ones onto each other like that, and that is how you actually cut out a part of a video. So in Vegas Pro, it is just pressing S from split, but in Filmora Pro, it is just Control B. But it's not really that different because anytime I'm editing in Vegas Pro, I always have my finger on control and on the key S save my project to press control S and that is exactly the same how it works with Filmora if you want to save your project in between editing so you don't lose your progress if this program might crash or there's something with your computer you just want to press control S now every now and then to save your project you can just do that while you're editing and give this a name I'm just gonna call this project obviously so let's say that we're editing and we're adding tons of color grading and we're cutting and we're just fully into the editing you just want to press Control s now and then and that's going to automatically save our progress because as you can see if i press Control s that icon will appear like that as you can see anytime you're pressing it that little circle okay so now that we saved our project in between you know cutting and everything like that right now we're gonna go ahead and add in some color grading so we're gonna head over to the effects tab and right here it says color correction we're gonna click on the drop down button and right here we have auto color auto contrast auto levels we have also brightness and contrast to you know spice things up also the color balance but what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pick the auto color and we're gonna drag that on top of the clip like that and as you can see it is automatically going to correct it but you can just double click on this one and adjust the settings yourself if you want to optimize it to your wants and needs okay so let's remove this one so I'm not going to you know for example figure all out how to do that just real simple save your time and press Control Z until that removes and that's also how you undo things so let's say oh I made a cut right here that's not supposed to be there just press Control Z and that's basically how to do that and how to undo things so let's move on to the next one which is color grading you can that works exactly the same we have the color cycle uh, day for night you can all figure that out yourself it depends on your project and if you just scroll down we have presets we can sharpen our footage stylize it we have all kinds of different settings we have warp we have transitions for videos so let's go ahead and click on there we have multiple ones for example the dissolve what you want to do is overlap make these overlap and what you can do then drag it onto that in between the clips that's what you want to do so if I play it back this is what it looks like you're streaming something that's how to add in a dissolve I know this software is a little bit lagging well when, when it comes to transitions but that's not happening to you guys because I'm running my recording software to be able to record my screen and it's running in 60 FPS 1080p so that's why it's a little bit laggy so don't think that this program is going to lag in terms of transitions it's just only because I'm recording at the same time all right so moving on to the next one which is adding text text is not be found in the effects button because effects is only brightness color grading chroma keys that's called effects but you want to move up to the text at the very top and then you can just go ahead and drag that in so in order to actually import text onto your project it is very simple we're gonna click on this little T icon below the preview so then what you can do is click on your preview and just start typing I'm just gonna type in my name for example just Alex Halford you can just double click on it you can choose the font right here when you go to the text tab so then I'm going to for example pick this one and you can also make it a lot bigger like that by scrolling to the right and the left left to the right is bigger to the left is smaller you can just change the color by just clicking on this bar and then just drag it on for example to there and then you can just also make one different letter a different color like that maybe I'm just gonna make this one yellow and then you can just have different colors as well and you can just drag it around and just position it where you want it so it's a very very cool thing you can also make it bigger change the font you can also add in an outline if you want to You can choose an outline if you want to and that's a really really cool thing so guys this is how you use Filmora Pro the basics how to add in text how to cut things up and if you guys want to make me a series out of this software make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you want to pick up this software and check it out yourself make sure to go ahead and check the first link in the description so thanks a lot Filmora Pro for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys obviously in my next video